Hello, everybody. It's Barry. You know what time it is, don't you? That's right. It's bite size tutorial time. And today we're making a conical helix. And we're going to be taking the lessons learned from making circles, shafts, the double helix, and of course, how to click an OK button. So without further ado, or silly voices, let's get straight into it. So first, we're going to need to make a double helix. And here's one I prepared earlier. This one's 45 foundations high and nine wide. We're going to take one side of the helix away because we're only going to work on one side. Once we've done it, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And to make the conical shape, each one of these ramps needs to be moved inwards towards the central point. And to figure that out, we're going to have to do some mathematics. But don't worry, guys. This is actually really easy. And if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. So we're going to have an A. And this equals the amount of foundations we want to move in. In this example, I'm going to move in three. So it's three times eight, which equals 24 meters. And then for B, we want to take the wall height. In this example, it's 45. And we're going to times this by the ramps we are using. And in this example, we're using two meters. So we have 90 meters. And then we simply divide A by B. Just 24 divided by 90, which equals 0 0.267. But don't worry, guys, there's a link to a spreadsheet in the description, and that will help you automate all of these calculations. So, a quick pro tip for you guys once you've got your number, open up another sheet in Google Documents, dump the number in, and then we'll quickly. Doing equals A1 times 2. We'll grab that number. We'll chuck it down here. We'll paste as values. And then select those two. And we're going to weak it all the way down. And once you've done that, here you are. All the numbers that you're going to need for when you're copy pasting those ramps. And now for the most exciting part of this whole video. You guessed it it's time to start moving foundations. So, select that building, hit copy paste, take the first value from our spreadsheet, and I will see you guys when I've reached the top. Ah, here, finally. Now that we've got that done, let's dismantle the original helix. And we're nearly there. There's only one more thing we need to do. So select the entire helix using the place remove corners option. And now with the copy paste, we're going to enter 180 in the Z field. So click OK. Click OK again. And now clear. And here it is. Isn't it a thing of beauty? Well, guys, now you've seen how to make a double conical helix. I can't wait to see what you're doing. So make sure. You hit me up on Twitter, you dump some screenshots into Discord, because I would love to see what you guys are doing. See you later!